Okay, when the house builder built the house, he did all the rough plumbing for the house under the concrete slab and he left some signs where I should dig in for the uh, sink, for the shower pan, for the kitchen sink if needed and he covered those with actually uh, some uh, light insulating foam so that makes it easier to dig. So the digging was not too bad. But you can see in this rectangle, this is just a very thin sheet of concrete and under it there's uh, insulating uh, foam and the digging was not so bad there's gravel under it and uh, it just took me like maybe half an hour to dig and this is the drainage two inch pipe and now I just have to make some measurements to see where I can actually put the drainage pipe exactly so that the shower pan sits between the three walls and uh, to do that I just made a, a quick measuring and I put uh, a plumb a line uh, a plumb line hanging from the ceiling to where the center of the pipe should be then uh, looking at the pipe uh, drainage pipe again I just made some more measurements to actually make sure to cut the pipe exactly where it should be cut um, so there, yeah, there you go I cut the pipe here and now I just have to bring in uh, my two inch PVC pipes and put them together and make sure that the drain, the center of the vertical one, the pilot drain, sits under exactly the plumb line. Okay, uh, it seems that I had to do some uh, quick uh, trimming for the pipe and I just made some measurements to make sure that I put the pipe exactly where it is before I cement it. Uh, this vertical uh, pipe is going to be removed and a real pipe will be put in, in instead of that. Um, so I just put the prime the, to clean the pipe and then I put this uh, pipe cement and bring in then all the um, the pipes that I put together and now I have to push against the drainage pipe uh, so keep push, pushing for about 10 seconds until the two pipes are cemented together it just takes about a few seconds to cure and I, while I'm doing that, um, I just made sure that the vertical pipe here that was covered with this cap is is always under exactly the plumb line, which is now. So the two of the, all the line is now cemented together. I just have to make sure, okay, it's perfect. Where the shower pan is sitting, it's going to be at the center of the drain. And now I took the pilot pipe, vertical pilot pipe up and I put the real vertical 2 inch PVC pipe instead and I covered the rest with gravel, made sure that it's sitting nicely in the gravel bed. I made some measurements to where everything should fall and I made my cut according to where the shower pan adapter should be. And then Make sure you cover the pipe so that nothing falls into it. I made uh, one last check. I brought the shower pan in between the three walls and made sure that it is sitting correctly. Okay, now I bring the drainage and I put the potty, uh, plum plumber potty and squeeze it from one end of the shower pan and from the other side I just have the adapter that just simply screws in the shower pan from the other side. Make sure that you screw it really well until the uh, plumber potty comes out from the other side. Clean the rest of the plumber potty and then um, now you have the moment of truth once everything like this is done. I also put some more concrete around the vertical pipe, drainage pipe so that it does not move. Okay, now I only have one shot on this, so I brought in the sand mix 
and distribute it evenly probably I will need some more and that's why I brought some more and I distributed distributed it it was about an inch to an inch and a half thickness uh, you probably will need two people to do this step but I was alone so I I took my chances uh, cemented and uh, primed primed the pipes and then put the pipe cement okay the moment of truth put it in okay the PVC pipes are lined up as I expected now I just have to make sure that the shower pan is leveled on all directions that step took me about 15 minutes going back and forth making sure that things fall into place um, there's also a small plastic things that you can help uh, the shower pan level or just once they are leveled you can actually uh, connect the shower pan with the studs in the walls and that's what I'm doing now I'll just show you quickly how that looks like in a minute still leveling it and there is where the plastics are I'm gonna get you a close-up on it there it is okay so I put that to the stud I push it down until it's leveled and now next day I left it for like 24 hours I put some weight on the pan to make sure that it is not moving and next day after everything's dried I put the water to see if it drains very well and there you go as you can see the water is draining perfectly and that is actually that was the hardest part of the <coughs> shower now I go to the walls put some uh, silicon for um, shower or sinks silicone for that and put the walls then I found out actually I should put the um, back wall first so I went back put silicone put the back wall fastened it to the um, studs and then I put the the side wall okay I screwed the side wall to the studs and made sure it's plumb or at exactly vertical level okay the other side was not exactly at vertical level so I brought in some shim and I pushed in the shim between the stud and the wall then I screwed it in. Now the third wall is hard because you have to make a hole aligned exactly where the faucet outlet I is to and to probably you have to use a, a tool. I used this one it did not work so I had to use another those. tool uh, that worked out be better. Okay now put the silicon and then in, install the wall there is actually some slots where the wall the walls all all connect so you don't have to worry too much about it, it just sits in nice and easy put more silicone there to make sure that water does not go back to behind the shower it usually does not it's made so that it never goes but you can never go wrong and here is the shower um, ready and done almost done there's still, still some cosmetics need to be done and it took me a while actually to put the faucet cover just to let you know give give you give you a heads up about that okay so everything is working really nice i like the shower it's wonderful um now i open turn down the water like this and it goes down to the shower pan and it's working very well as you can see on the side I made some shelving between the wall and uh, the wall that holds the shower inside wall it was nice uh, thank you I hope you like your video thank you